If you look under Linda Mason Hunter's sink, much of what she uses to unclog drains, clean counters, bathroom floors, and remove spots is edible, or at least okay to splash on your skin. Linda Mason Hunter is a pioneer of how to live sustainably inside the house. She's a Green Revolution leader, author, and radio host. Her latest guide is called Green Clean. It is my pleasure to welcome Linda Mason Hunter to Studio 4 to tell us more. Well, thank you, Fanny. Thank you for coming with the vinegar and the soda yes. <laughs> and the Castile soap. Right. See, who knew? <laughs> well, our grannies knew, but we seem to have lost our way. We definitely do seem to have lost our way. It's interesting to see how we got to this toxic point in history. How did you get into green clean? Well, I got into home ecology and green living when I wrote my first book in 1989. My book was called The Healthy Home and Attic to Basement Guide. In 89? In 89. That was almost 20 years ago. Yeah, you're a maverick. I am a maverick. Um, and that was prompted by, I, I live most of the time in, in the States, and then I live part-time here in Vancouver. But that book was prompted by a report done by the US EPA that found that toxins, that indoor air was five to 10 times worse than outdoor air. And it didn't really matter where the houses were located. So it had nothing to do with location. It was basically the products we were bringing into our houses. Mm. So that tidbit of information really piqued my journalistic curiosity mm -hmm. and I wrote my first book, The Healthy Home, which was about um, living green as well as, as toxin free. So you're talking about materials and furniture, fabric, rugs. Cleaning products. Cleaning products. Which is a lot of them are cleaning products, a whole lot of mm -hmm. them. They get into the air we breathe, they get into our skin and get absorbed. And then we also take in toxins in the food we eat and the beverages we drink. And little by little, it adds to body burden until eventually we get sick. Right, I had a friend who was the queen of bleach. Ooh. She bleached everything, she was a nurse. Yeah. She's no longer here. I don't know if it had anything to do with the bleach, but she bleached absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought, bleach? I don't know. Chlorine bleach. Chlorine bleach. Nasty. Pretty tough stuff. <clears throat> I do Maybe have in a, the hospital. I do have a rule. I don't eat in a restaurant that smells like chlorine bleach. Mm. So if you are running a major operation like that, I mean, your home is one thing, but if you're in a restaurant where you are responsible for people not getting... Right. They, they need some kind of um, heavy-duty disinfectant, mm -hmm. but they don't have to put it Overdo on five it. minutes before <laughs> they open the right. doors. Well, you know, in Italy, often they, they have the marble counters, and it's, uh, they just, it's white vinegar. Right, right. Clean with white vinegar. It Clean is white vinegar. an anti, it, um, antiseptic and a mild disinfectant. It, mm -hmm. it works. It's, it's good. It's one of what I call the three graces. Uh, one of the three graces. You say in Green Clean, uh, uh, baking soda is the most magic. Baking soda, distilled white vinegar, and vegetable-based soap is what I call the three graces. With these three products, you can clean practically your whole house, either singly or in combination. How so? Well, it's basic chemistry 101. <laughs> um, You're not going to blow anything up. No. <laughs> Good. No, or bubble or gas, it doesn't do that. They're, it's all plant-based, it's all biodegradable. Baking soda is alkaline, so it cleans acidic substances like um, animal messes, proteins, grease. It's also uh, a, a scouring agent mm -hmm. and a deodorizer, so it does wonderful thing. Yes, I have some in the refrigerator. Yes, as Supposedly it's taking the smell out of the refrigerator. Right. Mm -hmm. um, distilled white vinegar, and you want to use the white vinegar, not the apple cider vinegar. That, its pH is acidic, so it works on alkaline substances. It uh, gets rid of scum, like soap scum. It, on, in the shower? In the, in the shower, um, and in the bathtub. Um, dissolves scale and inhibits mold. And it's also a mild 
antiseptic and disinfectant. So that works on the other end of the scale. And a vegetable-based soap, I like Castile soap, um, but it's a vegetable-based soap. And what soap does is it works on the molecular level to bring the dirt to the surface, and mm -hmm. then you can launder it and wash it away. So basically, with these three ingredients, you can clean your whole house. I, I used to make all of my cleaning products myself. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I, I found a line of products that I really like, and that's um, the Shackley Get Clean line. The, in, in, in the last five years, uh, green cleaners have gotten a lot better than they used mm -hmm. to be. They're very efficient. They work. They don't require as much elbow grease as they used to. And it's all in the label, if you read the label. You can tell if a product is green if you learn mm -hmm. how to read a label. Exactly. So if you have time to make your own. You know, it really doesn't take that long. It's when you consider that you're the time spent going to the grocery store, buying the things, mm -hmm. bringing them home, unloading your grocery sack, it might take two minutes to right. whip up a recipe. Well, and you have your little green clean book right, by which, your side, which, which is, is categorized so you can care for the furniture, clean the bathroom, uh, get rid of the uh, guck in the oven. Uh, what, do you, what do you wash your clothes in? Uh, right now, I'm using the Shackley laundry detergent, okay. but I used to mix. Borax. I used to mix uh, half and half borax and washing soda to wash my clothes, and okay. uh, and that also in my dishwasher. And were your whites white? My whites were <laughs> my whites were white. Um, they, if 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 I needed a whitener, I would, and I still do use an mm. oxygen base bleach, not a chlorine base bleach. Well, as you know, I think we're too particular about white, white. We most certainly are. It's an mm -hmm. advertising gimmick. Change the mindset. Do you use vinegar on your windows? Yes, I do. Vinegar and water? Yes. Just straight vinegar? Um, mainly vinegar and water. And, and I use a cotton rag. Everybody has their own way. Mm -hmm. uh, some people swear by newspaper. Uh, doesn't work for me, but... <laughs> oh, doesn't it? I well, use newspaper. I know. I, maybe mm -hmm. I, I just don't do it right. Well, cotton rags are good. You yes. can wash them, recycle them, all of that. And you had a pumice stone. Is it called a pumice stone or a pumice stone? You know, the pumice I stone that you... a pumice stone. A pumice yeah. stone, I think, and you get all the stuff off your heels. Right. Or your, your right. scaly feet. Yes. But you used it for something in this book. I can't remember. Well, for all for for really hard stains and and mm. things that will sort of grind it away. When you when so, when your best friend spills the red wine, on the carpet. Well, right away, um, if you get club soda on the wine, that will help. And what you want to do is put it on a towel and then blot the stain. You don't want to rub the stain. Any stain you have, you always blot. You don't rub. So blot it and try very hard to get it out that way um, and, and launder it mm -hmm. then. But don't dry it. Look at it after it's laundered to see if it's gone. And uh, if it's not, launder it again.